Hey, what's going on? It's Joey Myers from the Hitting Performance Lab, and in this video, we're gonna talk about the hands drop RT drill. We're gonna go over four different things. First thing is, we're gonna talk about defining a hands drop, define RT, how to do the drill, and focus on process and not performance, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. First, let's define a hand drop. So my definition of a hand drop is, at landing, where are the hands? And we want the hands to be somewhere around the back shoulder in height-wise from the ground. So just like a boxer's punch, you're gonna have the punch is gonna end up, or the fist is gonna end up somewhere around the shoulder, slightly above, maybe, slightly below, maybe, or in line. We don't want it down here, and we don't want it up here, okay? In this drill, we're talking about the hands dropping. So what, what that would look like is, if you're looking at it on film, it's gonna be about two to four frame drop. And the hitter's hands will end up somewhere between the belly button or even at the waist and just slightly below the armpit. We want the hands to end up at the armpit at landing, somewhere around the armpit. So it's gonna look something like this. So they'll get here and then you'll see them drop all the way down here, which makes them susceptible to anything up, especially high velocity up. So we wanna make sure we correct it. RNT stands for reactive neuromuscular training. Basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to feed the mistake, which the mistake is for the hands to drop, and we're gonna create some resistance where the hands have to pull against that resistance. So that's basically what we do to fix certain things like hands dropping. Now how we do the drill is you can just grab some resistance, resistance bands. You can get them online on Amazon on, you can get them at Dick's Sporting Goods. Basic workout resistance bands. Don't have to be super heavy. Actually, you want to probably be a little lighter. If you work with multiple hitters, then have a, a range of uh, thicknesses. But even with, with professional hitters or college girls, you don't want to be super heavy with this, with this band. Just a little bit of resistance makes a big difference. So you want to have handles. Uh, with these, the handles are too, wide, too, uh, too thick, so to hold the bat in the handle is which we're gonna end up doing. So you wanna hold the strap instead. If you have Jaeger bands out there, Jaeger bands have straps that go around the wrist. You can do that and you can do the same thing stepping on the middle like what we're gonna do. So hold in the straps. We're gonna get on the bat just like this so it's gonna look something like that. And then as we get in the box here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna step on, step on the band so it's not gonna twist up here. And the back foot, make sure it's about middle of the foot so it doesn't snap back and hit the hitter in the face. So we're gonna get in the stance here and you're, the hitter's gonna feel the bands pull those hands down. So what they're gonna have to do is they're gonna have to resist that pull down and keep their hands around the armpit level or the top hand armpit level. So what we're gonna do is at landing, this is just a get to landing drill. This isn't a swing drill. We're not swinging with these bands on. It's just to get to landing and feel landing. So we want them to get to landing and we want them to feel feel their hands keep them from dropping down so we're just gonna do five reps of that they're just gonna get here and then they're gonna get here I mean they could start with their hands here but get here if they're a hitter that normally start starts up here make sure they start up here don't make them because the bands are pulling their hands down don't make them start doing something that they wouldn't ordinarily do in the normal swing so make sure they're, they're here and then finish with the top hand thumb around the armpit level now it's really important that when you start doing this drill that you focus on the process or you have the hitter focus on the process and not the performance. What that means is the process is what they are doing with their hands. So when they take that off, they're still gonna feel like those bands are on. So you want them to, you want them to feel that. So as they take swings, whether you're going into a break it apart swing where they have to get to landing, pause for a second or two, and then you're gonna toss to them or they're on a, on a tee, they're gonna get a one to two second pause and then they swing. You want them to feel and fire from those with those hands up here. Don't, as they start to swing, don't, don't let them come down. So you want them to focus on process, what their hands are doing, feeling that, uh, resisting that resistance. And then what you want them to do is, or you, what you don't want them to do is focus on where the ball's going. So tell them, take the pressure off. I don't care where the ball goes, I'm grading you on your process. So if you hit a fiery hole through the net, but you did the process wrong, that's an F swing. If you swung and missed, I was tossing to you, or off the tee and you swung and missed, but you did the process right, that's an A swing. And that's what you want them to understand when they're doing this drill and they're going into actually taking hacks without the bands. So in this drill, we went over defining hand drop, defining RNT or reactive neuromuscular training, how to do the drill, and focus on process and not performance. We'll see you in the next video. The Hitting Performance Lab wants to know, did you know repeatable hitting power does not start in the hips? Have you heard the expressions, load and explode the hips, power comes from the hips? Well, we created a free video revealing the results of a scientific study. 
that will show you how we added 48 feet of batted ball distance instantly and it's not all about the hips. Click here now to get the video while it's still free.